welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this jp infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about a python project which is entitled as prediction of parkinson's disease using sgboost which is an IEEE 2022 conference paper so before seeing the execution of the project let me brief about this project basically we all know that parkinson disease is a neurological disorder which affects the human body before that we have already seen the project in our youtube channel and also in our website we can see a project that is related to parkinson's so what is the difference between that project and this let us say that so here you can see that project that is parkinson's disease you direction using machine learning so in this project this is a unstructured data so where we will be using images like hell the spiral and wave format images are for predicting but here in this project we are going to use structured data so let me show you about that so this is the difference between that project and this one so as i intimated that this is a neurological disorder so in this paper the authors have mentioned that that the number of persons suffering from Parkinson's disease is estimated around 5 million. So this shows the seriousness of this Parkinson's disease and also the importance of the prediction of the Parkinson's disease in yearly which will helpful for the patients. So mostly this affects the people in the age of 60s and slowly it downs the, the their speech, their activities like uh, poor posture and poor balance are the common symptoms so in this paper so we have used the motor symptoms and aims that predict the parkinson illness in a yearly stage in this paper the authors have used the model like xg boost and random forest and utilizing with the different machine learning models as our proposed model so we will be using random forest classifier so you, the prediction of Parkinson disease for this uh, structure data will be done using this random forest classifier algorithm and our training accuracy that we have achieved is 100 percentage and the training test accuracy that we have achieved is 97 percentage. So now we will be seeing about the data set of the project. So in the data set part you can see the variables like MDV, NHR, HNR, r p d e d2 dfa so these kinds of things so let me explain those things one by one so let me show you the data set that we are going to train up so this is the data set that we are going to train up the system which consists of id name mdv fo mdv fhi mdv flo jitter percentage jitter apps so these kinds of things so these are the features that we are be using so let me show you these things also so here you can see md vp f4 is average vocal fundamental frequency so as i said that this parkinson disease affects the the speech and kinds of things so this data set has been collected from the things that which is been affected so these are the parameters so here you can see the details of this data set that is which is average vocal fundamental frequency and MDVP FHI is maximum vocal fundamental frequency MDVP FLO is minimum vocal fundamental frequency MDVP jitter percentage and jitter apps so these kinds of things are several measurements of variations in the fundamental frequencies and uh, MDVP shimmer MDVP shimmer DB and uh, shimmer APQ3 shimmer APQ5 MDVP APQ shimmer DDA so these are the several measures of variations in amplitude and NHR and HNR are the two measures of the ratio of noise to total components in the voice status so in the final the result is a status that is one is the health status of the subject that is one means that is the Parkinson and zero means healthy so here you can see the final result classified in the data set the status is z the status here you can see this part with one and zero so one means that is parkinson's and zero means healthy 
and RPD D2 is two no non-linear dynamic complexity measures DFA is signal fractal scaling component spread 1 spread 2 PP or three non-linear measures of fundamental frequency variation so these are the things about the data set part Um, before executing the project make sure that you have fulfilled the requirement that is mentioned in the requirements file with exact version of the python and the library is mentioned now let us take the execution of the project so just go to the source code location just copy the source code location go to your command prompt go to the source code location type python app.py and click enter and kindly wait for few minutes so now you can see this URL, just copy this URL, go to any of your browser, I am going to Firefox and paste the URL. Now you can see the home screen, I will consider the project with the project title, prediction of Parkinson's disease or Parkinson's disease classification using machine learning. Just click this login menu, it will be navigated to the login page where you need to enter the username and password kindly note that this is a static login page because we have not used any database in the project so just enter the default username and password as admin and admin and then click the login button and you can see this login successful message and click ok now it will be navigated to the upload part where you need to upload the data set that we have shown so just click this browse button and go to the project source code location now click select the upload.csv file and then click the upload button so now you can see the preview part in the preview part you can see the data set that we have uploaded with the features like uh, id name mdvp f4 mdvp fhi mdvp flo mdvp jitter percentage and jitter abs rap ppq jitter ddp mdvp shimmer mdvp shimmer db shimmer apq3 shimmer apq5 MDVP, a APQ, Shimmer, DDA, NHR, HR, NOR, Status, RPDE, DFA, Spread 1, Spread 2, D2 and final is the PPE. So as the thing that we have shown earlier. So just scroll down till the end of the page and you can see the complete data set has been loaded into the preview part. And now let me click the click to try not test button and kindly wait for a few seconds. And now you can see the training is finished message and click OK. Now it will be navigated to the prediction path which is the important part of the project. So where you need to enter the test cases to find the prediction result whether it is a Parkinson disease or a normal one. So let me show you with the few cases. So let me enter the first case with uh, MDVP EFO as 119.992. MDVP FLO with 74.997 jitter percentage as 0 0.00784 jitter abs as 7.00 e05 then ppq as 0 0.00554 shimmer as 0 0.04374 Shimmer DB as 0 0.426, APQ3 as 0 0.02182, APQ5 0 0.0313, APQ is 0 0.02971, DDA as 0 0.06545. NHR with 0 0.02211 HNR with 21.033 RDP 0.414783 DFA with 0 0.815285 Spread 1 with 4.81303 Spread 2 with 0 0.266482 T2 with 2.30142 PPE with 0 
0.284654 so let us see the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button and now you can see the prediction result is parkinson which is a disease based now let me click the prediction menu again to enter the other case so now let me enter the fo with the 197.076 flo with 192.055 jitter percentage is 0.00289 jitter apps is 1.00e05 ppq with 0.00168 shimmer with 0.01098 shimmer db is 0.097 APQ3 is 0.00563 APQ5 is 0.0068 APQ with 0.00802 DDA is 0.01689 NHR with 0.00339 HNR with 26.775 or PDE is 0.422229 DFA with 0.471367 spread 1 with minus 7.3483 spread 2 with 0.177551 d2 with 1.743867 ppe with 0.085569 so now let me check the prediction result for this case and the prediction result is healthy so this is not a parkinson so now let me again click the prediction menu and enter the other case with the FO with 199.228 FLO with 192.091 Jitter percentage 0.00241 Jitter apes as 1.00E minus 0.05 PPQ with 0.00138 Shimmer with 0.01015 Shimmer DB with 0.089 APQ3 as 0.00504 APQ5 as 0.00641 APQ with 0.00762 DDA with 0.01513 NHR with 0.00167 HNR with 30.94 RPDE with 0.43249 DFA with 0.01 seven four two zero five five spread one with minus seven point six eight two five nine spread two with zero point one seven three three one nine d2 with two point one zero three one zero six ppe with zero point zero six eight five zero one so let me sell check the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button and the prediction result is again the healthy one this one and final let me show you the final case of mdvpfo with 162.568 mdvpflo with 77.63 jitter percentage with 0 0.00502 abs with 3.00e minus 05 PPQ with 0.00253 Shimmer with 0.01791 
on shimmer db with 0 0.168 apq3 with 0 0.00793 apq5 with 0 0.01057 apq with 0 0.01799 DDA with 0 0.0238 NHR with value of 0 0.0117 HNR with value of 25.678 RPDE with value of 0 0.427785 DFA with a value of 0 0.723797 spread one with a value of minus 6.63573 and spread two with a value of 0 0.209866 and d2 with a value of 1.957961 and pp with a value of 0 0.135242 and let me see the prediction result for this by clicking the predict button and the prediction result is parkinson and i have shown you with the few cases for the both healthy and the parkinson part you can check with the other case from the test case or with the training data set that we have trained up with now let me move to the performance analysis part so if you click the performance analysis part you can see the performance analysis parameters like recall f1 and precision values for the healthy and parkinson and then comes the confusion matrix where you can see the confusion matrix for the true and the predicted labels of it and final comes the chart part so in the chart you can see the chart with healthy and parkinson and kindly note that this is a static chart because we have not used any database in the project so as i have integrated in the earlier so this chart has been predicted from the data set that we are trained up with which consists of around 60 percentage of healthy data set and 40 percentage with the parkinson's disease data set and this is all about the project parkinson's disease classification using machine learning or prediction of parkinson disease that we have done using the random forest classifier thank you all for watching